Okay. Let's say you've already turned on you've already turned on the uh, the main room. Now you're over here. Okay. You want to make sure this button is on. This one as well. This one as well. And then there are two power strips down here. See how they're both on. Over here, this is the actual soundboard, the Behringer X32. Okay. This is what we use for everything. Okay. I'm gonna today for this video is gonna be short. I'm gonna show you just a couple of the basics. There's house versus monitor, house settings and monitor settings. Right now, we have we're on what's called the house settings, meaning that everything you control here, these are called your faders. Everything they control here controls what you hear in the house, in the sanctuary, per se. So out here, this is what you'd hear if you had something up here. Okay, but there's also something called the monitors. Okay, if you look, I don't know if I can zoom in or not. Yeah, right there. On the stage, you see those black boxes there? Those are your monitors. Now, we can't hear what's in the monitors unless we're over there, but we always want to make sure those are up for people who are doing praise and worship or if somebody's speaking. You want to make sure that they have some volume. So you can't do that on the house. You have to go to monitor. If you look right here, this is a button that says monitor. You want to highlight this, but I'm also going to highlight this top channel right here for monitor. Bus one. Bus one is for right now, that's going to be what's going to be controlling the monitor sound over there. Bus two controls some of the monitors on stage as well, but we're working to get that fixed. So for right now, you're only going to be worrying about this one. Okay? Now, when those two buttons are highlighted, you see how everything is uh, lower from earlier? Earlier, you saw it like this, but now it's like this is lower. That's because that red button is highlighted. But. If you unhook that monitor button, this is the house settings again. So house, that's going to be clear. Monitors, it'll show like that. So right now, this shows what everybody that's on stage, this is what they would hear. This is the volume they would hear. Okay? So, again, house, monitor. Now, I'm going to go back to house settings. Okay? If you look over here, you've probably already seen it. You can kind of make it out a little bit. There are names for all of those channels. When people are singing, it's really easy. It makes it a lot easier for you back here if the singer has the mic, uh, the name labeled there. So there'll be names on those to show you who, which person is singing and who has what mic to make it easier to lower them or raise them. High, raising them up, lowering them up. Okay? Now... We're going, we control more than just the singers, okay? But this is the singer's channel, and you see that by this button right here. That means you're here. But let's say you want to control some more stuff. Hit the second shelf, and right now, this shelf, if you look at some of the names on it, you'll see MacBook Pro, DJ Dingle, Justin, B-Wash, uh, Brent, Bass Mike. All of these are the what's controlled. You see this corner over here? All of that equipment, all those pianos and whatnot, that's that's how you control them. You can do them house, and I can also do their monitors as well, okay? You're probably wondering, well, why are they red, but up here, these were clear. They're red because I muted them. This is the mute button for all the channels. Sometimes I hear uh, some, some weird sounds or noises during service, and if they're not actually playing... I go ahead and just mute all the channels. That way I don't hear any uh, weird sounds coming from them. So that's how you mute. Okay. But I can also. this. But I'm muting right now. Because see that button's not highlighted. So I muted the house. But you can also. Mute the monitors too. Okay? Now let's go down to the third shelf. Third shelf. There's a only two things on here. That you really need to worry about for right now. First one. Is I got a label Larry for me. This is the computer itself to where if I'm playing music from back here, I make sure that uh, this cord right here, I'd plug it into the back of the computer. And if I want to play something off of iTunes or YouTube, I can play it from there. Those are my two channels. Okay. And then right here, this is the media channel. This, can tr this is controlling everybody that's on that side on the next room over. 
This is where their sound comes from. They also have house. And they got monitor settings too. Okay? So, um, when you're doing a service, uh, again, this is a basic video. Now, all these buttons up here, I'm going to go over in a separate video. So, you'll see that a little bit later. But for right now, I just want to show you the basics. Uh, but let's say there's a squeal that you hear like a really screechy sound during a video. No worries. That's a monitor issue. You want to make sure those two are highlighted. And what that's telling you is those monitors I showed you on stage that are up here. Somebody is probably too close to them and their volume's too low. Their volume's too loud. So I always make sure I highlight both of those buttons to get into the monitors. It's more than likely a singer. And I see who's too high. Right now, you see how Tori's kind of the highest? So it probably will be her. I just bring it down a little bit. Squeak goes away. Right now, for Bishop and Pastor T, I have them completely out of it. I mainly have Bishop out of there because his headset right now does not agree with the monitors that well. So I took him completely out of the monitors. But if I go over here, put him back in house, I got him all the way up because he, he needs that volume, okay? So this just again, this is just the first video on the Behringer, uh, getting you on the Behringer X32, getting you started. But there will be more videos to come. Uh, comment below in the comment section if you think there's something that you are unsure of, and I didn't answer on this on this video here. All right, take care.